Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Hua Feliz Air Mouse and Wireless Keyboard Combo. It looks pretty cool. Let's see if it really is. Stay tuned. So here it is, we have a big sticker over the front of the box, but this is the Hua Feliz Air Mouse Wireless Keyboard Remote. Uh, I'm going to do a little overview of this as well and then show you how it works too. Uh, I bought this for a few reasons and we'll get into that a little bit later, but first I want to tell you some of the features of this. This of course uh, works with Android TV boxes, mini PCs, smart televisions, projectors, uh, all in one PCs and televisions as well. It works through a 2.4 gigahertz uh, USB dongle, so it is wireless. Uh, there's also a battery built into the remote, which you can charge via USB. That cable's also included, so no replacing batteries at all, which is kind of cool. So it features a full functioning keyboard, air mouse controls, also has six axis sensors inside for kind of gyro sensing mouse cursor on off switch, infrared remote control IR learning, up to 10 meters worth of transmission distance as well. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Could open this up here. And just a few parts are in the box actually. So everything's kind of packed into this little plastic box here. We have some basic instructions in the manual here, but we'll get rid of those for now. Here is our USB charging cable, standard. So that's included, it's really nice. Again, there's a chargeable battery inside the remote already. No need to replace any AA's, AAA's whatsoever. And here is a remote. I'll show you more of that in a second. And here is your 2.4 gigahertz wireless USB dongle. Plug that into any kind of device, PC, smart TV, uh, Android TV box as well. And uh, you'll be good to go with up to 10 meters or so of distance between you and this. Most important part is the remote itself. And it's about maybe five and a half inches or so tall. Has a power button on top. Some arrow keys here, an OK button in the middle. Mouse functionality. It's got a back button, a home button, and also volume controls in the front. Looks really good. It's very sleek, it's very thin, maybe about a half an inch at its thick most point in the middle there. Kind of bows down a bit on the edges here and then the back is your full 57 key QWERTY keyboard with function keys as well numbers all the letters you have shift control um alt plus minus all the keys you need escape of course as well and everything is here including a www.com key which i'm assuming is like a shortcut key for accessing the internet i'm guessing so there you go. A few more little shots here for you of this remote. And yeah, the build quality is actually pretty decent. I got this for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. There is one by the same company that's white and it's like for maybe five or $6 more. And that includes a few more features, including voice commands. It has a little microphone button on the top of the controller here uh, for voice functions. And also has a trackpad in the middle of the keyboard. So that's kind of cool. If you want any links to these, I'll include a link to this model in the description below. That way you can get one or check it out for yourself on Amazon. Again, it's under 20 bucks for me, which seems like a pretty good deal uh, with this. So my plan to use this is for XSplit Broadcaster, actually. I do quite a few videos, including podcasts on my gaming channel, where I'm actually standing up in front of green screen. And I need to do a few scene preset changes during my production. And I can't always reach over to the keyboard here and get out of position in front of the green screen. So having this, I could actually set this up with hotkeys, given it's a wireless keyboard as well. Set up the hotkey commands and XSplit Broadcaster, have this plugged in, and hopefully, uh, with a few key presses, the hotkeys work from here in XSplit Broadcaster. So we're going to give it a try today and see how that works. And if it does, it should be a pretty cool little wireless configuration for me and my content creation. And for you, well, it could be anything. It could be a controller for your smart TV, uh, for your Android TV box, your PC, uh, a gaming controller for basic gaming, given there's some, you know, sensors in here as well for movement. 
Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Lots of functionality here in under 20 bucks. So let's see how it works right now. All right, so I'm capturing the whole screen here and showing XSplit Broadcaster as well. I have the dongle for this plugged into USB right here in front of me. Uh, what's cool is there's an automatic sleep state for the remote. If it's not used within 15 seconds, it goes to sleep, uh, which saves battery, of course, which is really nice. So the charge will last probably quite a long time when it's fully charged for you. And then to easily wake it back up, just push any button and it automatically wakes back up. But to initially power it on, after you have the dongle connected to your computer or to USB, is to push the power button here. So we'll push this, get a light there that turns it on, and we should be good to go. So again, there's some volume controls here on the bottom. If we push left side here where the minus button is, it controls our main system volume. So we can go down by tapping here or holding it down. That's really cool. Or of course, plus raises the volume so that's really a handy feature uh, just directly through system uh, controls here on the pc uh, there's a home button which i'm sure is for maybe smart tv functionality or android tv functionality maybe even like websites as well uh, there's a back button there's three lines here as well probably for other menus or whatever um, then of course you have arrow keys up here and okay uh, but the keyboard in the back looks pretty cool as well and again, all of these functions depend upon what you're using it for. If you're browsing a website, using it for controlling, let's say, a Roku box or a smart TV, something like that. Okay? Okay, so my scene preset right now, my hotkeys are number one, two, and three on the laptop keys. So I only have two presets right now here for the test. Uh, so this is scene preset one, the full webcam screen. If I push number two on my keypad on the laptop, we get a smaller webcam. That's kind of cool for the scene preset here. Just an example for today. So we get number one and two, that's number two and number one hotkeys, changing those. Now hopefully it works on this keyboard with these keys as well. So the keys here are on blue, which means they're under the function key. So I hit function right here, get a little light indicator right there. That means we can hit any of the blue keys here for those keys to work. So I'm gonna hit one and then two and nothing happens. So let's go into the settings here, the hotkeys, and see if these are a little bit different than the actual number pad keys on my laptop. So go to tools, settings, go to hotkeys here. Yeah, so scene presets, number pad one, two, and three. Let's double click on number pad one. All right, so I'm gonna push one on my keypad again here, so you can see this. All right, so I'm gonna push one, Oh, okay, so it changed to D1, that's cool. And then scene preset two will be two. Ah, D2, so that's how it recognizes these keys now as D1 and two, interesting. We'll push apply. And now let's see if the 20 bucks is worth it. To me, if this works, it's well worth the 20 bucks because when I'm standing up, I wanna be able to use some hotkeys here and right now, I have Elgato Stream Deck here, but that's actually wired to my computer as well. Standing up, I really have no other choice besides maybe a number pad or whatever, but I can have this number pad right here, right? But it's kind of big. I prefer maybe a slimmer remote for the hotkeys. So let's try this. All right, I'm kind of excited. Let's try this. Here we go. One, two, and three. All right, so uh, there's one more setting I forgot. Go to, go to tools here, settings, and hotkeys. We have to make sure we change our hotkey mode, advanced here, to D1, all right, D1. Click OK, and now, there we go, it works. So we're on preset two. If I click one, we go back to one, two, one, very cool. So let's show you here. So we'll show you if I put number two, boom. Goes to scene preset two, back to one, boom instantaneous really cool i did notice you have to put the keyboard like this um if you try to hold it up like this in some ways okay no it still works i wasn't sure if the keyboard turns off if you're holding it a certain way but it doesn't actually so we can hold this any way we want there we go cool so that is awesome that's really handy in fact let me stand up here 
So I'm usually here for the green screen. Two, nice. One. That is really awesome. So cool way to test. So for me, that's well worth the 20 bucks right there. Just being able to do that, right? That's really awesome. All right, so that's the basic functionality for this here as far as the keyboard goes. Again, the keyboard's for entering any kind of information in, whether you're browsing a website, writing an email, or um, entering usernames and passwords into uh, different applications, if you're on a streaming box or whatever, maybe logging into Netflix or whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It works really well. The keys are you know, pretty easy to touch. They're soft. Um, they're not too close together. Some keyboards are a bit smaller, but this actually is pretty well you know, laid out, but it's still small. But I don't feel like I'm gonna have fat thumbs on this keyboard at all, you know? So in a moment, we're gonna go to a web page and test out some of the other functionality on the remote here. But first, I wanna try out the air mouse functionality. Uh, so right here is a mouse cursor. You're gonna click this to activate it, and then you just move the remote around, and it moves the cursor on screen. And of course, you don't actually have to point this towards your screen. You're just pointing in space and looking to where you're pointing and its accuracy is because of the sensors inside here on the axis and kind of gyro sensors built into the controller. That's kind of cool. It is very uh, fluid actually and pretty accurate. So we can go up to the menu here and click on this, hit OK, and that brings up the next menu. That's cool. Go to file, hit OK on the remote. That is really cool. Up and down, that works really well. If we click off the air mouse button again, that turns the air mouse off. Uh, that way you're not misclicking or hitting things by mistake in the air mouse mode. So that's on and off for air mouse. Works really well. Awesome. Let's go to a web page now and check it out. So here we are on my Twitter page. I click the air mouse again and I can scroll through the feed over here if we want to. Should go down to the lower right here and uh, hit the arrow. Let's kind of cycle through the feet a little bit. That works really well. That's cool. So we're going to tweet here. I'm going to push OK in the remote. Cool. Now make sure the function keys are off so we have access to the full keyboard here. Hello. Since this is a regular QWERTY keyboard, you know, if you're using your phones for texting, you'll be used to where all of the keys are, of course, on screen or on the remote control itself. So it works really well. Let's see here, I guess shift. There we go. Nice. Yeah. So that works really well. All right. We're going to cancel this tweet out. Discard here. So if you're doing a presentation or like a PowerPoint or using a projector, uh, this will come in handy actually for a lot of things for you, especially if you're a content creator like I am. So let's push this here. You can delete. Kind of curious actually uh, what Home does. Have anything here? Okay, Home goes to Google. That's kind of nice. So with a smart TV, you probably go back to the main menu or to the, the menu you're on, back to the main part of that menu. Uh, for here goes to Google. That's nice. So the OK button kind of works as like the left click on the mouse. Um, and I think the kind of the back button here gives us like a right click. Yeah, that's good to know as well. OK, so that works pretty well. And again, you have all kinds of arrow keys here too, more for other kind of menu functionality. That's really neat. So there you have it, a really handy uh, remote control wireless keyboard combo air mouse. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a good investment for me for 20 bucks, actually less than 20 bucks. I think it's a, definitely a good buy. And that wraps up our review and unboxing of the Hua Feliz Air Mouse and Wireless Keyboard Combo. A pretty cool little unit for under 20 bucks. Again, check the description below for the link to this on Amazon. And uh, be sure to like the video for us as well. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Power off. Pew!